you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, we're back in my normal setting. And for this video, I actually felt like doing my makeup, so I did my fa my makeup this one time. Don't get used to it. Oh well. Today, a lot of people, well, today we're doing a, what is it, a, my favorite beginner-friendly wigs under $30. I thought this would be a good video idea because a lot of people have been asking me lately, like, what hair do you use? What do you do? Was it good wig for beginners? All this and that. I thought that today would be a good time to do not only my favorite beginner-friendly wigs under $30, but um, products that I like to use um, to kind of make life easier for you guys when you're just starting out to buy wigs. So without further ado, let's get to it. Also. I don't want to see any comments about my foundation shade. I know, I know. It doesn't look this orange in real life, I promise. But for some reason, it's coming up as so orange and it's disgusting. But I'm already here. We already shooting this. I'm looking in the viewfinder because it's really bothering me. But you know what? We're going to make it through this. So anyways, and now let's get to the video. For this list, I like it when people go from lowest to highest um, for hair and whatnot or products so I'm going to start with my least expensive piece of hair um, and it's actually not a wig but it is something that I um, it's a piece of extension that it's like a wig but it's not and that is I apologize for her state right now she's been in the bag for a minute and I didn't feel like combing her um, this is my ponytail um, I want to say this is about 20 inches because it falls down to the middle of my back she's really full and cute Unfortunately, I got her at the beauty supply store in Minnesota, so um, I found the internet and looked and I found some pretty similar ones. Um, and she's really inexpensive. If my hair is pressed or if you have like really loose curls and you can just like slick it back to a point where it looks straight, you'll be fine. Um, it's really easy to blend, beginner friendly, and it's easy to blend because it has so much hair around here that you can, if you want, you can like wrap it around, but if you don't want to, you don't have to because like I said, there's so much hair. Um, it's really pretty and it looks natural. It has like a loose wave, but the loose wave is kind of like yakky. Um, this, it's a given, it's a synthetic wig because it's only like $10 or so. So yeah, that's my first one. I really like her. Oh, and if I didn't say this before, I'll have pictures and the links in the description box to all these, all the hair. But the next wig is also, excuse her, she's really trifling, but I'll show you the good photos, okay? because she's also been in the bag, but um, it's my Outre jewelry rig wig. I actually cut this because, if you guys know me, I either, I either like my hair to my chin or I like it all the way down, like past my butt, so no in between. And this one is like a, I wanna say 14 inch wig, um, and it looks so bad on the card, like ridiculously bad on the card. Um, but, if you like comb it out, it looks so pretty. This lasted me about um, a little over a month and a half. It doesn't shed too bad. Like it's a shorter wig, so it doesn't like shed that much. It shedded a lot after I cut it, but that's because I cut it. This is also a half wig, which means that there's no hairline. It's just like, I'll show you the cap construction. It's just a comb in the back, as well as a comb in the front. Um, and so you have to leave, you have to use leave out, but that's not a big deal. It's no problem. Um, because my hair blended pretty nicely. Once I figured out how to blend it, it was pretty easy to blend it. It was really nice. So this is a really easy wig. You can just throw it on, leave your, twist your hair back, put a cap on, because it doesn't have to be that flat. That's the nice thing about this. Your hair doesn't have to be that flat. You can twist it, put a cap on, and then leave your leave out and just curl that if you don't mind putting heat on your hair. But yeah, I really like it. It's super cute. Like I said, I'll insert pictures. And my next wig is probably my favorite wig out of all of these wigs, I will be buying this again and again and again because I love this wig. It's so easy to use. The lace is not itchy and it looks really nice. I just messed up the part by putting too much concealer in it, concealer in it, but that's my problem. So this wig is my Freetress Equal Freedom Part Lace front in the number 202. There's no shedding in this wig unless you like brush it, which is not that bad for synthetic wig. There are baby hairs in it, but like you can, this wig you don't even need to use baby hairs like that. I'll insert pictures. Um, there you can part it, the way the cap is constructed is just a basic cap construction. Um, a comb in the back, two combs by the part. See, I used too much concealer. Um, basic cap construction, 
So you can like turn it this, but the nice thing about it is you can turn it this way anyway, so you can have a part here, here, here. I usually wear it in the middle part. It's like super long. I want to say it's around 24 inches. The lace isn't itchy. It gives you lace. The nice thing about it is it gives you a little, little, little bit of lace all around the hairline. So it does, it can lay flat because sometimes what wigs will do is they'll have just this part. I don't know if you guys can see it. Okay, so it has like the little, hold on, there we go. It has like this part right here and a lot of wig companies will like just give you this and no lace in the front, but it doesn't lay as flat and I don't like that. So the fact that this has a little lace in the front so you can make it blend and look more natural is huge to me. Um, it has a ventilated capsule, it can, it's breathable so your head's not dying. Um, the one thing is, is you probably should wear a wig cap under this otherwise the lace looks, you can really see the lace. I love this hair and it's so inexpensive and it's just perfect. I think this is, this is $25 and that's like nothing. Um, also, I'm not including shipping in this because shipping is different to wherever you are, but y'all get the gist. But anyways, I love this. I will always go back to this. It's such a pretty color and it comes in not too many colors, but it comes in nice colors. Um, but yeah, I have this one in like a 1B, I think. My last wig is... She, okay, fair warning, she's gonna look trifling, but when I got her... Oh, all the, by the way, I've had all these wigs for months so they're kind of old but when they're new they're like something vicious and they lasted me about a month and a half each of them before they started to look trifling like this and I had to put them away but I can fix I can finesse and fix wigs but now but I'm just showing you them um, anyways this is about a 26 24 26 inch pin straight wig that I loved when I first got her. She comes in all types of different colors. This is, by the way, this is a free trace, equal deluxe lace front in the style Evelyn. I really like this. However, she does tangle a lot and she does shed like a dog. So if you don't mind tangling and carrying a brush with you or like shedding, look at this, see? Like, it, she sheds like a dog. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. But, like, I'm just pulling out hairs. But if you don't mind that, um, it's fine and she's only what $26.99 so she's not that expensive she lasted me about three weeks before I decided it was time to give her up she doesn't wash very well so note that but like I said she's so expensive you can just buy her again um, and she comes in this this wig comes in like a really really pretty like rose color that I'll insert like here that I really want to buy but I'm too scared of color, so um, I'm just gonna go blonde first and then work my way. This wig is really nice. It just it sheds like crazy. Um, the part lays really flat, and it has lace around the front too. It has the same cap construction as the late, the last wig that I showed you, um, which is also nice. But like I said, it sheds like a dog. That's one thing that I hate, and then it also tangles really easily. So if you're gonna use this wig. Use this as like a, I'm just gonna try to test out wearing a wig for like a few hours and then see, you know? Cause this ain't it. This ain't the wig that you wear all day and night. You sleep in, you don't sleep in this wig. But what else? I'm trying to think. She doesn't wash very well, but like I said, you can get rid of it. The combs are really nice. These wigs are also really nice because you don't have to use a lot of glue. None of these wigs you have to, you don't have to use any glue with, which is so nice for a beginner because you're just learning how to get used to the combs and all that stuff. You don't need to be putting on glue and stuff. You put a little bit of glue in the part, but that's it. And like, I'll explain later for the other stuff. But these wigs are so nice because you can just plop them on and basically leave the house. Um, do baby hairs if you want, but a lot of these wigs you don't need to. So, I like them. I wear them. Maybe not this one anymore. It might be time to get rid of this one for real, for real, because I tried to press it wearing it and it's like not looking good if you guys can see it but what I'm telling you if you wear it for like two weeks every day for like two two and a half three weeks it's looking nice so now that we finished the um what is it the hair part which is where I suggest the hair to y'all so the, so these are some of the tools and um, things that I wish I knew I needed when I first bought a wig because the first wig that I bought, I just bought the wig and just thought that I could just mess with the stuff that I had at home and that is not the case. So I have a little collection of things 
for you guys who are just beginning with wigs. Um, the first product that I use, I like to use, other than like bobby pins to pin my braids in the back, my cornrows, is the Salon Olive Oil, Olive, olive Oil Formula, like hair food. It's like oil that you put on your scalp so your hair doesn't get crunchy. See, y'all be using wigs as a protective style, but let your hair get all crunchy underneath, and I can't, I can't. You gotta, you gotta oil your hair so it grows and it stays strong so that when you take out the cornrows, your hair's not breaking off and you know, whatever. Um, and the bobby pins don't break your hair off as easily. Like, it, I'm telling you, it's, use oil. And even if you don't like, I use olive oil because I know my hair gets really, really dry. And olive oil is really good for super dry hair. But um, another one I use, I like to use is argan oil. Um, and there's lots of argan oil formulas out there, but this one is the best for me, um, personally. Which, again, all these products will be linked down below. The next product is my, I like the Ultra Glued Invisible Styling Gel from Got To Be. I use the blue bottle, or not the blue, the black bottle because I like the clear, that it's clear and I don't have to worry about flaking as much. It does flake if you use an excessive amount and all that, but for the most part, this is this is my um, the one that I use and I've loved it. And I've had this big bottle for a few months now and I stick by it. Oh, fair warning guys, I'm still learning and I'm still adjusting to this stuff. Um, I only started wearing wigs like September, so, or like hair extensions like that in like September, so I'm, I'm still learning, but this has been what I use for the wigs with just like the part but that aren't like a lace front or front like a full frontal or a full lace wig. Um, I just use I get a rat tooth comb, put a little pea size amount and then put it there and then press it down until it's dry. And then I lay my baby hair so I'm good to go. Like that's that's how nice these ones are because it doesn't take a lot of finessing. Whereas if I use a frontal I gotta like do the whole method. And there's so many methods on YouTube. I can do it if you guys want me to put that. If you want me to put a video out like that, let me know and I can do it. But Basically, it's a lot of glue and a lot of work, but this does not move and also you can take it off with water I don't like to sleep in my wigs, so I take them off every single night and This is super easy to remove if you move it correctly. It doesn't take off any of my edges and it's great I can go on for days about my got to be glue But I won't the next one is one that I just recently discovered that I absolutely love is which is my got to be glued blasting free spray I know every youtuber talks about this combo but this combo is literally an iconic duo like they are there for you when no one else is like this is not coming off anytime soon and I was like pulling at it so um, she's not coming off anytime soon so what I do is I lay I can show you how I do it but this and this is really good together if you want me to show you how I do it, like I said, for the 10th time. I'll make a video if you want it. The next product that I use is my Argan Oil Styling Gel. This is like basic curling gel, like when you like slip your hair into a bun or something, this is what you use. Um, I realized that the Got To Be would like hold my edges in place and I did not like that, so I started, because you have to use like alcohol to get this off, Whereas this, you can come off with just water, and you can style it real easy. It makes my edges look a little more less plasticky and a little more natural. So I really mess with this. I use this instead of got to be to style my edges. Um, I just feel like it looks a little more natural, and it doesn't flake if you use too much. That's one thing I really like. It doesn't flake, and it doesn't bother your edges too much. However, if you're doing leave out, like in the half leg, you might want to use something that doesn't have a water base to it like this does because it might revert your hair but this one does not have a water base to it or this does have, got to be doesn't have a water base to it excuse me so that's sometimes a case where I'll use it or I'll use like edge control or something but for the most part I stick to this so next are my cones so the first one that I like to use for my baby hairs is imparting is this rat tooth comb this is not like your standard rat tooth comb I'm sorry about that I'm getting emails um, this is not like your standard rat tooth comb. Um, it's a little thicker, it's not like the wire ones. Um, but I like this one a lot because it does my parting and whatnot. You see how fine it is? I don't know if you guys can see it. Well, y'all know what a rat tooth comb looks like. The next one that I really like to use when trying to trim my wigs or whatever else is 
the standard issue dad mustache comb. That's what I call it. Oops. The sad dad mustache comb. I really like it because I can lay baby hairs. I can comb my hair. Real like if I'm comb my hair and I'm flat ironing or something, and you know it has two sides. Works really nicely for traveling if you don't want to take the rat tooth comb and whatnot. You can still part with it. It's just a little bit more difficult, but this is really nice. And then when I'm washing my hair, um, at, for detangling after I wash, I get my hair wet because you can't brush it after you get it. The synthetic wicks in particular, you cannot brush it after you get it wet. So I use this medium tooth comb to really get in there and get things to get the tangles out, especially with my curlier wigs. But I find that it's too big to just kind of get all the tangles out if you're just... Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder. I'm sorry. Um, I think I feel like it's too big if you're just combing your hair every day, so I don't use that. And you can literally get these at the beauty supply store for like cents and change. So the next one that I, the next thing that I use was this detangler brush. Now for straight wigs, you can use a paddle brush, and for like loose wave curls or body waves. You can use a, a paddle brush, but I don't like that. I don't know, I don't feel like it gives the knots out as easily or makes it really frizzy. So I like to use the, my detangler or bench brush. I got this at the beauty, I got this online for like $2. They're super cheap, you can get this stuff for super inexpensive. I don't see why people are spending 10, 15 dollars on a brush when you can just go online to get them at the beauty, and get them at the beauty supply store online. So that's what I did for this. Next for my wigs when they're getting a little frizzy or like dull looking, I like to use this frizz ease that I stole from my mom. Sorry mom. Um, I really like this because it's not heavy oily. Sorry about that, my SIM card ran out of space. But, what was I saying? Oh, when my hair looks really dull, I use one pump for one side and another pump for another side. And um, after I finish detangling it and just run it through, if I have curls, I'll like go like this at the end to make sure the curls don't get frizzy. And it works every time, and I love it. Here I have my last product, which is the Aussie Total Miracle Dry Shampoo. I like the way this smells, sue me, a lot of people hate the way this smells so they say it gives them a headache, but I like it. Um, it also really works when my wigs come out, when I first get them and they look super shiny or doll hairish, like synthetic wigs sometimes can. A lot of synthetic wigs you can't wash like every other week, like you can with human hair or human hair blend wigs. So to keep them smelling nice and looking nice, if you're especially if you're wearing them every day, you use the dry shampoo to kind of get rid of that sheen make it smell nice and you know kind of give it life again so um because you typically wash synthetic wigs like what once a month or so all right guys there you have it that is those are my favorite wigs that are under 30 that are beginner friendly and some of my favorite like products to use for my wigs to kind of make it a little easier on you guys when you're first learning how to use them. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All of my social media will be on the screen as well as linked down below as well as all the products which I think I said a couple of times throughout this video. If you have any questions feel free to ask me on Instagram or uh, DM me on snap or message me on snapchat. Sorry my leg really itches and until next week Bye! Baby. Come take it and you sit